Alice in Chains, Them Bones is the name of that song. And here's a link to that in chat. Papa Bray, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome uh, to any new faces that may be here tonight. I hope you're ready for some trash because I've got a puppet show to do. Um, all right, let me put on some creepy pasta music real quick so that it's extra spooky. All right, here we go. You guys ever listen to creepy pastas get read out loud? This will be a little bit like that. Only probably not nearly as scary because I don't have a scary voice. In the winter. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Alright, here we go. Um I do have a spooky story to read you guys. I have two, in fact. One of them is called The Hook, and one of them is called The Thing. The Thing is a little bit infamous for being scary, so I'm gonna do that one last. But here we go. Here's the setting. Uh for the hook. Now I, let me rearrange my windows a little bit. I'm sorry. I know this isn't scary yet. But it will be. <laughs> trust me. You can trust me. Alright. Can I still read it like this? Ooh, I might be able to. Uh, where the fuck is it? Oh, there. I scrolled up. Sorry. Okay. So we got two characters to get familiar with. In this, uh, in this story. And I'm going to bring them out so you guys can see them. Uh, where the fuck? Okay, I got to get used to this uh, folder being here. All right. So, The Hook is the name of this one. And there are two main characters. We've got Donald. <laughs> so that's Donald. Hang on, let me crop out the white border. So this is the quality we're working with. There we go. There's Donald. That's good enough for me. All right, and we've got his girlfriend, Sarah, <laughs> and uh, you know Donald and Sarah take a ride in Donald's car to the movies, and uh, you know they had a really good time in uh, in his car. <laughs> so they went to the movies. Had a good night, and then they were like, you know what, let's go drive out in the countryside, so... Alright, we're in the countryside now, see? All the trees, and the sunset, and the beauty of nature. Alright. Um, so... Let me crop this a little bit so we can get in that window. A sweet little window view. Okay. This is horrible already. Um, if you guys have heard man door, hand hook, car door, this is that. You know what I'm gonna do is make it a little transparent, that'll work. So, we've got Sarah and Donald in the car, <laughs> and they're talking, right? Maybe, uh, maybe we can get the radio in here for maximum, uh, you know, environment. Alright, so they're listening to the radio. And, uh, they find some music, but an announcer breaks in with a news bulletin. A murderer has escaped from the state prison. He was armed with a knife and was headed south on foot. His left hand is missing, and in its place, he wears a hook. Let's roll up the windows. Wait, 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 hang on. Let me get Sarah. Let me get Sarah. Let's roll up the windows and lock the doors, said Sarah. Uh, that's a good idea, said Donald. So they did. Uh, that prison isn't too far away, said Sarah. Maybe we should really go home. But it's only ten o'clock, said Donald. I don't care what time it is, she said. I want to go home. I mean, that's, that, she's got good survival instincts. Look, Sarah. Look, Sarah. He's not going to climb all the way up here. Why would he do that? Even if he did, all the doors are locked. How would he even get in? Donald, he could take his hook and break a window or open a door, she said. I'm scared. I want to go home. Donald was annoyed. Girls are always afraid of something, he said. As he started the car, Sarah thought she heard someone or something scratching at her door. Okay, I need a prop for this. So she hears like 
you know, scratchy sounds. Like here, here we go. All right, let me see if I could do this. Scratchy sounds. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you hear that? She asked as they roared away. I'm gonna get rid of this knife. Did you hear that? She asked as they roared away. It sounded like somebody was trying to get in. Oh, sure, said Donald. Soon they got to her house. Okay, hang on. I gotta get rid of, uh, like everything now. So, they're, they're driving. And they get to her house. This is interesting so far. Sarah's house. Let's just... This is Sarah's house. So, let me get the car back. Boom. And... Boom. No? That's it. That's what we want. Okay, so they pull up. They're in front of Sarah's house. Um... And Sarah... is in the car. And she's like, Would you like to come in and have some cocoa? And Donald's like, No. <laughs> I've got to go home. So he goes around to the other side of the car to, <laughs> to let her out. And hanging on the door handle is a hook. Dun dun dun! True horror. If I could get it fucking cropped, I would hang it from the door handle. All right, now we gotta get, now we gotta get playful. We gotta get playful. It's actually on the other side, but imagine it's reverse. Here we go. Oh, there we go, baby. That is a fucking hook hanging from a door. All right. Yes. Man door, hand hook, car door. There's a simpler way to tell this story. And I think I have it saved to uh, my computer. I'll show you guys really quick. While we're here. I wish I would have prepared more than two, but these took so long to get all this clip art assembled and ready for. So it would be under man door, hand hook, car door, probably. Nope, I don't have it. I must have erased it. Oh well. But yeah. So that was, uh, that was the hook. And then I also, I have to find this one. But here's a new setting for you, because next up is the thing. So hang on, just a second here. This is some spooky music, though. This is actually, like, the stuff they play when they're reading creepypastas. fuck is the thing? Hang on. Ah, uh, the thing. It's on page 23. Alright, hang on. I gotta flip there. Burp, burp. Ah, uh, here we go. So this is another one. Uh, with two friends. No, this is not still algo music. This is, uh, too loud, is what this is. But it is actual creepypasta music. This specific song is Look Out by Miyu. A lot of these are by Miyu. M-Y-U-U. -U. Does a lot of uh, creepypasta music. Who would have thought? Um, okay, let me get into the thing. So we've got two friends. Um, this one stars Ted Martin. And his best friend Sam Miller. <laughs> And these, these two are best friends, you know, uh, good friends. They spend a lot of time together. On this particular night, they were sitting on a fence near the post office, talking about one thing and another. There was a field of turnips across the road. Suddenly, hang on. Suddenly, they saw something crawl out of the field and stand up. It looked like a man, but in the dark it was hard to tell for sure, then it was gone. So he's like, way over there. Oh, that's too small for me to touch. Okay, he's like over there. And then he's just gone. But soon, it appeared again. It walked halfway across the road. Then it turned around. 
and went back into the field. Um, but, uh, then it came out a third time and started toward them. By now, Ted and Sam were scared, and they started running. But when they finally stopped, they decided they were being foolish. They weren't sure what had scared them, so they decided to go back and get a better look. Pretty soon they saw it. It was coming to meet them. It was wearing black pants, a white shirt. I don't have, I don't have clothes to put on this boy. Uh, a white shirt and black suspenders. Sam said, I'm going to try to touch it. I'm going to, t oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. No, 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 give me Sam. I'm going to try to touch it, said Sam. Then we'll know if it's real. He walked up to it and peered into its face. Hang on, I have its face. It had bright, penetrating eyes sunk deep in its head. It looked like a skeleton. Ted took one look and screamed. And again, uh, he and Sam ran, but this time the skeleton followed them. When they got to Ted's house, they stood in the doorway and watched it. It stayed out in the road for a while, then it disappeared. A year later, Ted got sick and died. Oh, I guess we gotta get rid of Ted. <laughs> Toward the end, Sam sat up with him every night. The night Ted died, Ted died. Sam said he looked just like the skeleton. Ooh, and that's the story. So uh, that was interesting. About as interesting as I thought it was gonna be, which was very. Um, but I do not have. I do not have more uh, scary stories to tell in the dark clip art prepared, and you guys do not want to sit through the process of me searching for this shit in folders that aren't designated for it. So I'm going to get some more of these prepared so that we can get even more spooked next weekend. Alright, this is going to be Saturday tradition during spooky month. We're going to do scary stories clip art because I have all this clip art and nothing to do with it. And next week, I'll try to get more ready so that we could do like three or four. All right? But that's all I have for uh, the Scary Stories Clip Art Puppet Show tonight. And if you'll allow me to pause Haunted by Screams, which is the name of that song we were just listening to, um, we can get some Isaac going, all right? Now, I know you guys are very scared right now, but get ready to get even more scared now.